Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a impromptu video. I just received the new Jaclyn Cosmetics Hot Tropics collection in the mail. I didn't know if this was coming. I thought it might be because I've been receiving PR for the past couple launches and I have done videos, but I didn't know when it was coming. So right when it arrived on my doorstep, I jumped in the shower and got ready to film this video for you guys. So today we're gonna go over swatches. I'm gonna show you everything in the collection. I haven't even opened it yet, so I have no idea what these things look like in person we're gonna apply them on the face that's probably why I look a little bit crazy because I don't have anything on my face other than my foundation and concealer I'm looking a little blanked out so I'm excited to jump into these products if you're new here I hope you'll subscribe and let's go ahead and begin So as I said, I just got this in the mail a couple hours ago. I have not even taken it out of the PR box. This is the outer sleeve of the packaging, and we're gonna jump right in to the collection. Now this is called the Hot Tropics Collection. This is gonna be launching on her website exclusively on July 13th, 11 a.m. PST. So this is not coming to Ulta. She did say this was a limited edition collection, so it's only gonna be available on her website, and I'm not sure if they will restock if it sells out. So that's all the info I have in terms of launch and where you can get it. So inside the box, there is this little card from Jaclyn. She's looking gorgeous on the front here. It says, when I think of summer, it's all about bronzed, highlighted, sun-kissed skin and glossy lips. I'm bringing you just that. The formulas from this collection are luxe and elevated. These products will become part of your summer must-haves. I hope you love them as much as I do. So we will see about that, but I have to say that the shoot for this was super beautiful, just very glowy, very Jaclyn. So let's get to the actual product. So there are four different products in this collection and I'm gonna go product by product but I'm gonna throw some close-up shots of this PR box on the screen for you guys so you can actually see what we have in this collection the first product is the pout drip hydrating lip oils there are four different colorways this is going to be $20 a piece a popsicle drip sheer tinted lip oil that glides on easily for a juicy voluptuous look so it looks like you have a clear a light pink and then two more punchy shades but I know she said in her video that these are very sheer so we're gonna go ahead and swatch them quickly. It has a large doe foot applicator on there And I am going to swatch them for you. They feel quite thick I wonder if there's a scent no scent that I'm detecting but they feel quite thick So I swatch them on the back of my hand I'm gonna throw up some close-up swatches as well But you can really see how sheer they are how very high shine they are and they are thick They feel like they're really gonna coat the lips So we will see when we try them the next product in this collection is called the reflective light putty highlighter These will be retail for $29 each. There are four colorways. It's a bouncy metallic highlighter that melts onto the skin for a mermaid wet look. Now I know Jacqueline said that she really wants that wet look, that dewy look, but she wants something that's compatible with powder foundation as well as liquids and creams. So she did say you can use these on a set face, like a powder foundation. So I'm interested to try that out. She said she wanted the glowy look that you can get with cream products, but have it be compatible for those of us that wear powder. So I thought that was really interesting. The packaging is really pretty. It has this sort of palm tree Jaclyn logo right here. And then this is what the putty highlighter looks like. Okay, when I'm feeling it, feels very much like a super shock from ColourPop. So I'm interested to see how this will apply on the skin, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch all of the colors. So you can see from these swatches here how metallic these are. They do feel creamy. I totally get what she's saying in terms of like that putty formula. Very much like a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow is what they feel like. You do have a sort of pinky champagne color, then you've got that gold color, and then you've got some more, I would say, coppery colors leaning into a bronze. So I do feel like the shade range on this is quite nice. I feel like everybody could find a shade that works for them. Next up, we have the Beaming Light Liquid Highlighters. This will retail for $24, three different colorways, a lightweight sparkling liquid gel that's like a drop of luminosity wherever you apply it. So the packaging on this is a glass frosted bottle with the Jaclyn logo and then you do have a dropper So I'm gonna go ahead and throw up some swatches So you can see from the swatches how high shine and metallic
metallic these are. They very much remind me of the iconic London liquid illuminator, but I would say the texture on this is much thinner. Very, very thin. I noticed immediately when you drop it on your hand, it almost feels like water, like nothing. And then when you blend it out, you get that high metallic shine. So it's kind of interesting, the texture. Now, I did see that she said she puts this on her body a lot. She also says that you can put it on top of your foundation. I think she said cream foundation, like liquid foundation. So I probably won't try that today. I'll probably try it on my chest, which is the way that she demoed it in her video. And I think the color range on this is good as well, just because if you're super fair, you can go for the icy one, and then you can go for the like medium pinky one if you're light medium, and then if you're deeper complected, you could go for the more bronzy tone. And the last product in this collection is the Sun Kissed Cream Bronzer. So it has that same sort of palm tree leaf on the front. Is that even what it is? Who knows? I'm not from Florida, but it has that, you know, vacation vibes. This will retail for $29. It comes in five colorways. This creamy matte bronzer delivers a sun-kissed glow and a soft focus finish. And then it says Jaclyn, and then it has a glass component jar. So let me throw up some swatches. So here are these swatches of the cream bronzers. When you feel them, they feel very thin and sheer, and then they do dry down to almost a matte finish. So I can see how she says like a creamy matte. I will say the shade range on this is not going to work for everyone. I really wish she would have omitted maybe two of these shades and done some deeper options. She said it was a limited edition drop, which I get, but not everybody's going to be able to use these. Like, I don't even know which shade I will go for. I was thinking maybe the middle, or I might even go for like the fourth darkest, and I'm not super dark, so... Definitely a little disappointed in the shade range on this product. So I believe that's all the information I know about the products. I will leave it in my description box as well. So all of the prices, when you can get it, just in case you missed it in the beginning. But now that we've gone over them and some swatches, I wanna start applying to my face. So I'm gonna zoom you in and we are going to begin trying these. I've got you zoomed in and I wanna start off with the cream bronzers. Now this is why I look so blanked out because I have no bronzer, contour, blush, nothing on my face. So I did do my foundation and then I did my concealer and I powdered my under eye and my T-zone, but I did not powder my cheeks or the top of my forehead. So that way I can test this on an unset face. I did use a matte foundation, so I'm hoping that it will work with that. Because this is a cream to matte formula, I'm hoping that it will work for me. So I'm gonna use an IT Cosmetics brush. She didn't really say how she applied these. This was one of those in her launch video. She kind of just glazed over in terms of application. So I'm just gonna start off with a brush she did say these are buildable. That's one thing she did say. So I am going to load my brush up and then what I like to do is pat on the back of my hand. So you can see that is very, very sheer and light. So I do feel like this is going to be a product that you want to build up and I can feel that cream to powder almost feel, almost like her blush sticks. So let's go ahead and start applying to the perimeter of my face. Now she said this isn't a contour product. This is just to give you that summer sun-kissed look. So this is not meant to be for contouring. So I'm just applying on the perimeter of my face, blonde problems, trying to get up to the hairline, but not in the hairline. That is like one of my biggest struggles being platinum. So far I'm not noticing any issues. It is definitely that like matte feeling. Very much like her, like I said, her blush sticks that she released in her Bougie Rouge. Was that what it was collection? Okay, so that is the forehead. I may have gone a little overboard. We will fix it, but I want to start applying to the actual cheeks here. This definitely has a matte Texture very similar to her blush sticks. Okay, it's a little more pigmented than I thought. I thought this was going to be quite sheer, but I really do feel like it sort of sculpted out my face. So this is what the cream bronzer looks like on the skin. I have to say it is a very unique formula because it is matte and I can feel it and I can see it. It has that cream to powder feel just like her blush sticks is what it reminds me of. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a beauty blender just to calm down a little bit. I think I went a little bit overboard, but sort of hard to choose a shade because they looked quite similar when you swatch them. This shade may have been a little bit deep for me. I just had a hard time kind of figuring out what shade would work for me. 
Okay, so this is what the cream bronzer looks like set with powder. I just set it lightly with a translucent powder. I don't notice any lifting. I just feel like maybe the shade I chose was a little bit deep for me. But again, I'll have to play around just because looking at the swatches, they looked so similar to me. So I'm quickly going to go in and apply some blush. This is from her Rouge Romance palette, the Rouge Affair palette. I have loved these palettes so much. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I'll probably just dip into here just to give me a little color to my cheeks. I am looking quite bronzed. There's nothing like a baby doll blush, I'll tell you that. Okay, so now that we've tried the cream bronzer, we've applied our blush, I want to highlight. I'm gonna be using her putty highlighters. Now she said she did this because she wanted something that looked really wet and dewy, but that you could use over powder. So I'm interested to try these because they do seem intense, but they do feel like a ColourPop Super Shock. I'm trying to figure out what shade. I think I am gonna go for possibly the lightest shade today just because I have that pink blush on and I'm probably gonna put on a pink lip oil. So I'm gonna take the shade Glazed Out, which is the lightest shade. It has a pinky undertone. I'm gonna be using a Sephora Pro Highlight Brush. We'll see how this picks up on the brush just because these can be a little bit difficult to pick up sometimes, so I wanna see how this works. Okay, it's insanely blinding off of one swipe, which I mean, do we do we expect anything different from Jacqueline? She is the highlight queen. Ooh, and it picked up just easily with that brush. Okay, this is intense, which I'm not surprised because that's her aesthetic. She loves super intense highlights. When you touch this, it almost feels yeah, you can push into it and make little dents into it. I mean, it is blinding. I wonder what this would look like as an eyeshadow. That would be something I would have to try. I'm going to actually take a little bit of this. I'm like afraid because you literally barely touch it and it is crazy intense. I'm going to take some down the center of my nose. Woo, okay. Yeah, this is very, very metallic. Wow. Wow. And just to test it as much as possible, I'm gonna take a little pencil brush and apply this on the inner corner here. Oh yes. Yeah, I feel like this would be pretty for like an eyeshadow. A little goes a long way with this. This again is not for a natural look. I mean, this is like, bam. So now that we've tried the bronzer and highlight, I want to try the lip oils. So the ones I'm in between is Rose Drip and Ruby Drip. I feel like I should go with Rose Drip, but it's going to be essentially clear. These swatched super thick, which I actually like. They will coat the lips and they're not going to slip and slide and get all over your face. It has a huge doe foot wand. So let's just go in. I mean, she said essentially these are just to give you like a high shine finish and she applied it over a liquid lipstick so ooh that is high shine ooh look at those lips honey that is um some DSLs if you know what I'm saying you go that to get in there to use some bees no huh no um the bigger the hoop the bigger the hoe you know what I'm saying you know what's funny about that is Jacqueline, the stuff that I'm reviewing right now, she literally would say that, like, constantly. She would wear, like, these huge hoops, and she'd be like, the bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoe. See, I'm fucking, I'm in. I, I know what people want. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you should take over Gets my channel. the people going. I don't care. What My lips eat? look fucking glossy, honey. I love it. Yeah, let's put them to work. Woo! Okay, get out of here. Oh, 
So we've tried three of the four products and I wanna finish off with the liquid highlighter. Jacqueline put this on her chest in her video, so I'm gonna do the same. It's tough when you're trying a bunch of new products because you really can't apply like every cream bronzer, every highlighter, every lip product. So I'm trying to use these products as I would if I were to wear them. And I have to say, so far I'm feeling I'm feeling cute, I like it. So I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. This doesn't say a shade name, which is sort of strange. I noticed that, uh, but it is the middle shade. I'm just gonna use a Kabuki brush and throw my hair back. I should probably move my necklaces too. Now I do have some foundation on my chest because I my tan wasn't perfect, so let's say that. So let's just go over. I think Jacqueline actually had body makeup on it as well. Okay, so this texture is like insanely thin. I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like a dry oil. I mean, it really feels like a dry oil. If you've ever applied that. Now she said it was just gonna make you look glowy and dewy, almost like you put on a really hydrating lotion, and I have to agree. It is interesting when you swatch them, they swatch super metallic, like the putty highlighters, but when you apply it, the texture of this is very thin, like different than the Iconic London or any of the other formulas that I have tried, and now that I'm applying it, I can really see what she's saying in terms of it doesn't look Tin Man or metallic, but it does look glowy. That is interesting. I mean, you look at this and you think it's gonna be crazy, but it's not once you apply it. And I applied quite a bit. And I'm gonna apply some more, cause yellow. So I almost feel like this product in particular, any shade, you could use any shade. It's forgiving is what I'm saying because it really just looks glowy. And it feels like a dry oil, interesting. Okay guys, so here is my finished makeup using the new Jaclyn Cosmetics products. And I wanna go over each product and tell you my initial first impression. Now I know this wasn't a super long video just because of the nature of the products. It was kind of quick, like the lip oil, the highlight, and you can only use so many products. I didn't want to mix and overload them so that we had clashing tones. So let's start off with my thoughts on the cream bronzer. So I love the packaging. I love that it's a glass component. It is a buildable formula, but it still has pigment to it. it does does remind me a little bit of the e.l.f. putty bronzers, but this one is different because it dries down matte. So it's buildable and the texture is similar to the e.l.f. putty, but this does have that cream to powder finish. It's not dewy. It doesn't like appear wet or feel wet on your skin. I really think you don't even have to set this. You know how when you use a cream contour or bronzer, a lot of times it's quite tacky. This is not that. It is very similar to her blush sticks and I think it is because it is a matte formula. I do have to say that the color range on this definitely should have been better. We needed deeper shades. I just feel like they all look quite similar and it was hard to choose which color would work for me. The color I chose may have been a little bit deep for me, but there definitely should have been deeper shades. Even just like two of the shades way deeper so everybody could use this. So that's a little bit disappointing. I am not a cream contour or cream bronzer fan. It's just not like my favorite product, I guess. I don't hate them, but it tends to mess up the sort of order I do my makeup in, but I have to say I didn't have any lifting or anything like that. It was very easy to use. If you like a very dewy, wet, hydrating cream bronzer, this will not be for you. This is gonna be for those of you that wants to wear cream bronzer, but you like a matte finish. So I think it's a nice product. I'm just not typically going crazy over a cream bronzer. Next, I wanna to touch on the putty highlighters. This product is exactly what she said it was. This is not for the faint of heart. It is intense. It is putty in the sense that you can push in there and your fingerprints will go in. Very similar to a ColourPop Super Shock, but I would say a ColourPop Super Shock on steroids, okay? Jaclyn has made some of the most blinding highlights I have ever used, and I've used a ton of makeup. I'm a makeup junkie at heart. I love makeup, anything makeup, high-end, affordable, I've done it. I love it all, and I have to say she really brings it. If you want the most blinding highlighters on the market. Jaclyn Cosmetics has got your back, okay? Look how intense this is. I actually love it on my inner corner, down the center of my nose. It is just like, bam. And when you look, I mean, ooh, 
girl, this is not not a subtle highlight. So it definitely is that intense metallic. Now I do think it does have a metallic quality to it, so it doesn't quite look wet like a cream highlight would do, but it does give you that intense glow that Jaclyn always comes through with. So this is probably one of my favorite products just because I love how easy it was to use. It was not hard to pick up on my brush even though it had that putty texture. I've had issues in the past with putty products not picking up on a brush just because of the nature of the product. This picked up beautifully, very easy to apply, and I thought the shade range on this was quite good just because I feel like anybody could find a shade that would work for them. I could probably use this shade and then the second lightest shade, which would be the gold tone. I just wanted to stick with more pinky tones today, but this is a great product. It's exactly what she says it is. It's going to give you that blinding highlight, but it's not a powder dry formula. It has a little bit of that creamy feel to it because it is putty. Now let's talk about these lip oils. I was expecting to be like, yeah, it's a lip oil. It's fine. It's a lip gloss. I love these. This is super high shine, but what I love about this as well is that it has a thickness. I tend to prefer a thicker lip product, especially when I'm using glosses or oils, because otherwise they just smear all over my face and they do not last, and I don't like that. I don't want it to be flying around on my face or getting outside of my lip line. Because this is a thicker formula, it is going to hang on and stay in your lip line. We well, might as well just go there and try Ruby Drip. This one had a little bit more pigment than the one I tried. Oh my gosh, the high shine on this, ooh. I also love like the Big Daddy doe foot. Ooh, it just feels amazing. I feel like I've tried lip oils in the past that just really slid all over my face. Ooh, okay, I like this shade too. Wow, okay, I really like these. This is like top, I was gonna say my favorite, but it's like, it's between this and the next product I'm gonna talk about, but Mm, I love these. This is giving it to me that high shine. And when I say thick, I don't mean sticky or goopy. It's not creating strings. It really just coats your lips. This formula is incredible. The only thing I would say is I'm surprised she didn't put a scent in it. But other than that, ooh, these shades. I just love them. I love that they're sheer, but they do have a little bit of a tint to them. And the shine on this cannot be beat, to be honest. Like, this is one of the most shiny lip products I've tried, but it's not slipping and sliding. So this like might be my favorite product. It's tied for first place. And then finally, let's talk about the liquid highlighter. And wow, I honestly thought this was gonna be like my least favorite. I figured this and the cream bronzer just because I typically don't wear cream highlighters or cream bronzers. To me, I don't know how this would work on the face because of the nature of it. It feels like a dry oil and it is very thin in texture. I don't know if this would be something that you definitely have to use on an unset face. I think the way she described it was that you do wanna use this before you powder. So for that reason, I probably wouldn't use it on my face. She was not kidding when she said it makes you look wet and hydrated on your body. It's really deceiving because when I saw swatches of this, again, it looked just very metallic, very high shine, but because of the texture, that like dry oil, thin texture, it just turns into pure glow. So honestly, I am surprised how much I love this. I have to say like these two products, are giving it to me, they're my favorites. Then the putty highlight and then the cream bronzer just because I'm not a cream bronzer. You know, I'm not a cream bronzer lover, but it shears out and it just makes you look hydrated and glowy. You guys can tell me in the comments what you think, but this surprised me. This was like the uh, catfish, if you will, of the products because I was like, yeah, I, whatever. This is just gonna give me some, you know, Tin Man metallic on my chest, but this really, is gorgeous if you love to look glowy and it doesn't feel super thick or sticky it feels like a dry oil it has a little bit like of moisture to it but it's not thick and sticking all over the place this is a winner for me for the body now the face i don't know we'll have to try that but these two products stand out to me the most but overall i have to say every product worked beautifully i had no problems with them I'm really excited to see what else she comes out with because her blush collection was my favorite that she came out with. And now I'm kind of like, mmm, blushes in this. This really is, I mean, you guys can let me know down below, but I feel like I look like I'm going on vacation, honey, and I'm not. I'm in the Midwest, okay? I'm not going anywhere. 
but this really gives it to you in terms of that island glowy like vacation vibes and I'm here for it I think these products are beautiful and I'm excited to see what else she comes out with so I will leave all the information down below about everything that I talked about today let me know your thoughts down below about these products how they applied what are you picking up what are you passing on and what are you excited to see from her next I would love to hear you guys thoughts if you're new here I hope you'll subscribe thank you guys again so much for watching I'll see you in the next video.